Chapter 2 Contours Introduction In this lesson, we will learn about contours. Definition of contour and contour interval, identification of landforms marked by contours, steep slope, gentle slope, hill, valley, ridge or water divide, escarpment, triangulated height, spot height, benchmark, relative height or depth, interpretation of color tints and conventional symbols used on a topographical survey of India map, representation of relief features. Relief refers to actual configuration of land which includes its altitude and slope. The relief features found on the Earth's surface include mountains, valleys, hills, plains and plateaus. All these features have three dimensions, namely length, breadth and height. But the map on which they are shown represent only two dimensions, that is length and breadth. To solve this difficulty, a number of techniques involving a variety of methods have been evolved to show the Earth's relief features. The principal methods used are Hachures, hill shading, form lines and contours. Hachures These are short disconnected lines which follow the direction of the slope. In fact, Hachures portray the direction in which water would flow down the slope, over the surface, if allowed to flow freely. The lines are closely drawn and thick if the slopes are steep. If the mountain slope has a gentle gradient, then the lines are drawn thin and wide apart. Flat regions like a valley bottom and top of plateaus are left blank. However, the hachures only provide an impression of the slope and not the height of the land above sea level. Moreover, hachures are difficult to draw and interpret and are time-consuming. They also obscure other topographical details in hilly regions. If you want to see all the chapters in your syllabus in this format, then call us on the number in the description. Hill Shading This method aims at producing the same effect as hachures in an easier and cheaper way. It is also known as plastic shading as the map prepared by this method looks like a photograph of the relief model of the concerned area. In hill shading method, the relief of an area is shown by light and shadow effect. That is, it is based on the assumption that when a source of light, like a big lamp, is used to illuminate the relief model of the concerned area, shadows of landforms are obtained. The shades vary according to steepness. The slopes which face the source of light will have a lighter shade, while those away from the source of light will be in shadow. Like Hachures, it gives no indication of the relative or actual height. Moreover, no distinction can be made between uphill and downhill slopes, between spur and valley, or between plain and plateau. This is because the hill slopes are shaded dark, whereas the valley and plains are shown in a lighter tint. Thus, hill shading sometimes obscures other features of the map. The shading is done by stippling, that is by dots, and it is used in small-scale map. Form lines Form lines are broken contour lines joining places with same height above the sea level. They represent only the general pattern of the ground and give no idea about definite heights. This method is resorted to when relief of an area is complicated and accurate data is not available. Other principles of these form lines regarding the direction and shape, etc. are the same as those of contours. They are referred to as approximate contours. Form lines are used along with contour lines to show minor details of a mountainous or a hilly track. Contours Contour lines are imaginary lines joining places which have the same height above mean sea level. 
Thus, a contour marked 50 means that all places which are connected by it are located at a height of 50 meters depending on the unit used. The contour lines are shown by brown color in two ways. First, thick brown lines and second, thin brown lines. Contour lines show A. Elevation of land the height of a contour is indicated by figures inserted in a break in the line. B. Steepness of its slope. When the contours are very close, they represent steep slopes. When they are farther apart, they represent gradually increasing slopes. Absence of contour lines indicates that the land is flat, that is, a low land. C. Shape of land at various heights. The contour lines indicate the shape of land. For example, almost circular contours whose value decreases inside represent a lay. Contour interval Contour interval means the difference of a height between two consecutive contours. In figure, one thick contour shows the height 300 meters and the next thin contour depicts the height of 320 meters. The contour interval is 20 meters. Vertical interval VI. It is the vertical distance between any two contour lines. In most British ordnance maps, the vertical interval is either 50 or 100 feet. In 1 is to 50,000 survey sheets of India, the contour interval is 20 meters. If you want to see all the syllabus chapters in this format, then call us in the description of the number. Horizontal Equivalent H-E Horizontal Equivalent is the actual distance between two joints on two contour lines. Gradient G Gradient refers to the slope of land. It determines the steepness of a slope. It is the ratio between the vertical height and the horizontal distance measured along the ground. That is, gradient is equal to vertical interval divided by horizontal equivalent. For example, a gradient of 1 is to 5 means that for every 5 units of horizontal distance, there is rise of 1 unit in the vertical distance. This is a rather steep slope. On the other hand, 1 is to 50 indicates that the slope is rather gentle because for every 1 unit of vertical rise, the horizontal distance travelled is 50 units. Calculation of gradient of a landscape. Find out the gradient between A and B in the figure. First, finding VI, that is vertical interval. This can be obtained by finding the difference in the value of the contour lines of places A and B. VI is equal to 400 minus 250, which equals 150 meters. Second, finding HE, that is horizontal equivalent. Measure the distance between A and B with the help of a ruler. Distance AB is equal to 3 cm. According to the scale, 1 cm is equal to 1 km. Therefore, HE is equal to 3 km or 3000 m because 1 km is equal to 1000 m. Third, calculate gradient. Gradient is equal to VI upon HE which equals 150 upon 3000, so gradient is equal to 1 upon 20. Thus, the gradient between A and B is 1 is to 20. Principles of Contours A. Contour lines join places having the same height above mean sea level. B. Contours are curved lines whose curvature depends upon the configuration of land. They are never broken. C. The spacing of the contour lines indicates the nature of the slope. D. Contours of different heights do not cross each other. However, contours come very close to each other to show the steepness of the slope or merge with each other as in in a cliff. E. A contour line either closes on itself on the map or it begins at one side of the map and ends at another. In case of a ridge, Contour lines run parallel to each other. In case of a valley, 
दे पॉइंट अप स्ट्रीम अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एडुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें